Within the next 90 days, I'm going to transform my physique. Now, after a bulk that went way too far, and just seeing my girlfriend's own amazing body transformation, you can check that out here, I was inspired to lose some weight myself. This is my story. been pretty good we've not experienced any kind of hunger levels even though we've been dropping our calories and we've steadily been losing weight I have noticed though um, although we've not uh, been hungry today I'm feeling it but to be honest it's because I'm at my work right now and I've not eaten in about five hours so I think it's pretty normal that I'm feeling so uh, hungry at the moment um, I have noticed something unique though is that I've lost a lot of strength on my upper body work. See my kind of overhead press has suffered the most. Um, I've lost a lot of reps. My previous 12 rep max is now my five rep max, which isn't great. Something that I did experience and I have been experiencing this week, I just got this thing where I just felt so tired, like just so depleted. I didn't want to do anything. I couldn't even put together uh, reels for my coach on Instagram. Um, check it out here. No. <laughs> All of a sudden, when when I kind of got home and we went through some of that stuff, I started to feel like so like just drained. Like so like obviously I couldn't make my Instagram real. I had to get I had to get happy to do it because I was just that I was that bad. I didn't want to do anything. And I just wanted to lie down. And it was like that for days. I was going into shifts at work and I just didn't want to do anything at all. Um I was going into gym sessions and I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to work out. Um and then I I noticed something. So I looked at my kind of weekly nutrition. I'll probably put some some preface on this. I only track protein and calories. I don't really care about fat and carbs because I think by the by they're mostly just kind of incidental. As long as you're getting a kind of a decent split of the pair of them, it doesn't matter the kind of ebbing and ebbing and flowing between how much carbs you're getting and how much fat you're getting, right? But I accidentally done keto for a week, so what ended up happening was, just from my own food choices, I ended up selecting things that were high fat, high protein, uh, without 
any carbs and I just didn't eat carbs for days. Now it wasn't a deliberate thing, it's just what I happened to end up eating. And what I'd basically done to myself was I was fully carb depleted. Um, so I'm probably the first person that's accidentally done keto. But I, that's what, that's what was um, making my performance uh, suffer, like I just felt terrible. As soon as I have had carbs, I've kind of upped my carb intake, dropped on my fat intake accordingly. Uh, obviously still doing the same protein intake. I'm completely fine now. I think I'm, I'm leaner than I've, than I've been. Um, obviously I've been finding that my energy levels have been quite bad though. And I'm quite just fatigued in general about actually doing the program. Um, I kind of have lost lost all interest. So he's sticking on this like long, uh, drawn out, continual training cycle, the exact same days over and over again. Um, it's you know I can I can feel it kind of just catching up to me, just getting a bit monotonous because I think the cutting routine that we've been on, we were actually on it before the cut so we've been doing it for a really long time and as well because I'm that bit more tired I just find myself more fatigued actually wanting to do the workout in the first place and um, it's more mental than anything physical and um, just kind of the lack of variety I suppose of just repeating the same thing over and over again and I found that obviously Abby's been really good to actually get me through it because I'm sure if I would just be on my own for this cut um, that I'd have probably made some mad change up to my routine or cut the volume drastically or done something probably persuaded myself that it was the the smart choice um, but no I'm glad I'm glad that we can we can push through it and I think it's working And with that, the 90 days were over. As you can see, there was some good improvements um, in physique, especially when I kind of took some shots here with a little bit of better lighting, you can kind of start to see where the differences lie. Now, if this is something that interests you, getting ready for your own 90 day transformation, you can just head on over to the Coach Fulton Instagram and find out how you can participate. If you use code YouTube, you can get 50% off any of the packages available. If you got this far in the video and you enjoyed, please like, comment and subscribe. And there'll be many more of these type of videos set to come.